It's time for a trip to the land of geekdom. If you're a language nerd, here at Formosa News, we get it. And two former interpreters who are now standing for election to Taipei City Council have got you too. Former diplomats and linguists Liu Shijie and Vincent Chow recently showed off their language skills and their rudimentary acting chops as part of their election campaign. And they grappled with some really tricky translations from the Taiwanese dialect. As a former diplomat, Liu Shijie should have a balanced demeanor. What's got him so enraged? Interpreter Vincent Chow can't hold back his chuckles as Liu reenacts a recent blockbuster. I've been treating you so well for decades. I even cannot compare with somebody who doesn't love you at all. The melodrama plus fluent English are all on point. Now it's Chow's turn to shine. How do you have no lollipops? You know, I'm very angry with you. But if you have no lollipops, how will I be angry at you? Do you want to eat my fist or do you want to eat the fish? You've got to think about this. Too. I know. <laughs> It's down to the wire in this Taiwanese-English interpreting battle. Chow, 33, stepped down from his leadership role in the political department at Taiwan's Economic and Cultural Office in the U.S. last June. Liu heads the international department of the New Power Party and once steered the Europe Bureau at the Foreign Ministry. Both are seasoned interpreters, but Taiwanese is a source of endless jokes. Still a melon. When you are a kid, then you might steal a cow when you grow up. <laughs> <laughs> right? What do you mean that cheese? If you steal a melon when you're a kid, you will steal a cow. Long la gam seiko. When you are touching the clam, you can also wash your pants. Yeah, yeah. This sounds dirty. No, it's it's not <laughs> really dirty, but it's true. It yeah, it's like it's like you're already standing there and you're touching um, the clam, yeah. right? The clam. The clam. Um, and your pants are wet. So Mandarin to English is a cinch for these guys, but some Taiwanese phrases are really lost in translation. As diplomats, there are times when not just English, but also Taiwanese language skills are required. When I was abroad, occasionally there'd be a situation where I had to speak Mandarin, Taiwanese and English at the same time. I think Taiwanese is a language with a lot of emotion. Sometimes it's hard to express the spirit of it in English. The heart of Taiwanese is so unique that it's a tough job to translate, but for those of us who enjoy speaking multiple languages, the untranslatable gem can be a great discovery.